MacArthur is demanding $25,000 to pay for her rehab plus compensation for her pain and suffering. She also wants a warning label put on Starburst. Most people hate to be stung by a bee. Besides dealing with the pain, some are actually allergic to the venom. But for some people, a bee sting could be a good thing. KCAL 9's Dave Malkoff joins us live with details on a treatment where people actually want to be stung. Dave? Yeah, it sounds like it. Maybe you can use uh, these guys to get rid of that Starburst TMJ. Listen to this. You hear them buzzing around there? This is a technique that was used in ancient Greece, in ancient Egypt. Now it's being used here in Sherman Oaks. When it comes to non-traditional medicine, this is out there. So where's Ray and his bees? Hey, Ray. Here comes Ray down the hall with a box full of bees. His patient today... It is different. <laughs> ...is about to get stung by a bee on purpose. Dr. Andrew Koken in Sherman Oaks swears by this ancient technique. Traditionally, this has been done mostly by beekeepers. But he's a medical doctor. I can usually just reach in and grab them. Patients fly in and out of here all day with everything from arthritis to gout to Vilma Thomas's bum Achilles tendon. I came across Dr. Koken and we started using the bee venom on me and it's worked. Watch this, just one little tiny touch on the bee's back. And it's basically a reflex. And the supposedly healing venom pumps in. Right now it's just tingling. There are anti-inflammatory components in here. The doctor says the bee's neurotoxins help kill the pain, and his patients agree. But when it comes to hard science to back it up... The scientific data is, uh, is difficult to... Uh, it's difficult to document this. There's very little floating around out there, many of it inconclusive. But of course, this is not for anyone allergic to bees. Yeah. But in the end, if this works for Vilma... She'll be back. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. All thanks, she thinks, to one tiny flying pharmacy. And here they are right here. They are ready to serve, but make sure, before you try anything like this, make sure you're not allergic to bees. That could set you into anaphylactic shock, and that could lead to death. So that is not a good idea. But some people say it works. We are live here in Sherman Oaks. I'm Dave Falkoff, KCAL 9 News. Come on, Dave. You're a real reporter. You would have actually gotten stung for this story. Yeah, yeah, I, I might. I might. If I put my hand in here, if I open this door, should I open it? No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> yeah, you keep them out there. Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe he's allergic. Fair enough. Maybe, in all fairness, maybe Dave is allergic. We got to give We're him just afraid. I think he's afraid, yeah. and we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> <laughs> but don't bring that box back into the studio. <laughs> you know, you keep it right there. That's good. I'm good with that. Oh, uh, do not do that. But hey, we've got a great forecast out there for you, folks. Good Thursday afternoon to you. We got into.